legitimate was the recent PAC conference? Who can claim to represent the real PAC? Are the ideals of the founding fathers of the PAC being upheld? And will the new leadership manage to bring disgruntled members back to the party? What time is it? It's question time. Welcome to Question Time. My name is Mpo Tsegi. For several years, now the PAC of Azania has been bedeviled by infighting and leadership squabbles. Formed as a breakaway party from the ANC in 1959, the PAC remained the second most powerful predominantly black political formation after the ANC. However, while new crop of leaders usually inject new ideas, and rejuvenate parties, the same cannot be said about the PAC. Expelled from the PAC in 2013 on charges of financial impropriety, bringing the party into disrepute and not steering the party in the right direction, Little Pampasele was recently elected as the new PAC leader by another faction of the party, as it is said, at a conference held in Bloemfontein. This after another faction, having called this gathering illegal and unconstitutional. Let me remind you that this is a live program and therefore you can call us an A of use on the following number, 089-110-4210. If you're outside the borders, 00278911104210. Our Twitter handle at question time 24. My guest today, Mdini Maiba, who is the new General Secretary of the PAC. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And I, thank you to your viewers. And I don't know um, who is Narius now. Uh, first, let me respond to your introduction about the legitimacy and constitutionality mm -hmm. of the Wicked Congress at uh, a river center in, outside Bloemfontein in the Free State. Yes. The Congress was legitimate and constitutional on two reasons. The constitution of the PAC is the law of the PAC. Correct. It governs, it directs the operations mm -hmm. and conduct of members and structures. Now, in terms of the constitution of the PAC, we hold our elective congresses every three years. Yes. And our last elective congress was held in Butterworth in July of 2012. Mm -hmm. Therefore, then, the next elective Congress of the PAC was due and was duly held in July 2015. Okay. On the legal front, the legality of the Congress or the other, all other processes in the PAC firstly arise from constitutionality. Now we have established constitutionality. On Friday, certain elements or members or groupings went to the South Houteng High Court to interdict this very Congress. Now, yes. this, now I'm, we, are, we are talking legal. Okay. And the application was dismissed with costs that the Congress goes ahead. Okay. And that judgment had to take into consideration the constitution of the PAC, which would guide the legal direction. Okay. And in addition, the applicant or the person leading the application, A. Lutando Mbinda, was declared or found by the court to have no legal standing to represent the PAC. Okay. Now, both in terms of the PAC constitution and legality of the law of the in the country, mm -hmm those two questions had been cleared. Okay. So you are the legitimate PAC? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're aware that we had a show, um, and this is a follow-up to what we had last week, um, where I hosted the... Mr. P. D. Ramini. <coughs> yes, a veteran of the PAC, yes. your comrade. Yes. Are you going to reach out to 
the likes of Mr. Ramini and the others? Uh, the constitution of the PAC talks about individuals, not that as individuals we don't count. Mm -hmm. What count are the structures of the PAC. Yes. And therefore, personalities are not of essence. What we are looking at is to unite, to work towards uniting the PAC. And the PAC is its branches. And from there, you go up to the regions and individuals are members. Yes. In the terms of this constitution, <clears throat> section 5.9, yes. it says in part, of, let me read it in full, only provinces, regions, branches, component structures and organs of the PSC and not individuals, mm -hmm. individual members may send motions or proposed agenda items for determination at the annual conference or special national conference. Yes. This applies, if it means all decisions of the PAC, they are not and should not be based on individual. Okay. Yes. Okay. Therefore then, the PAC cannot be united outside the branches. Yes. It cannot be united among individuals. And the danger that we have been through and which this new leadership in its decision that we will work towards unity. We are aware of where we come from. It has not been nice out there. But for us to take to advance the PAC, we have to work towards unity. And unity of purpose, <coughs> unity in principle, and unite around the constitution of the PAC. Okay. And if we all honestly and committedly rally around the, the, the constitution of the PAC, what will divide us? Therefore then, the unity is of essence and we'll work towards it. What counts here is... Okay. Now, tell me, are, are you, I, I hear the um, constitutional um, uh, dictates. Mm. Are you going to rope in the likes of Lamini, Narias Muloto, Binda, in as much as you have said that um, the Pan-Africanist movement is being spoken to and you are going to make an announcement in a week or, uh, or so, are you going to do the same with these this other members? Uh, first, uh, Mr. Tedu, soon after the crisis, the party was plunged into by a group of individuals. We had continued to communicate, to talk to people, individuals, so that they come back into the ambit of structural activity. We did invite Muloto and Impeti to an NEC meeting in Butterworth as comrades that we want to resolve oh. issues. However, you also cannot force individuals because membership of organizations is voluntary. Okay. And therefore, we work on a voluntary basis. But you have made... We, 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 we did that. We did not stop there. We held several other NEC meetings which, at which we invited everybody who was elected in Butterworth. And on the 4th of April, the members across the divide, who had been elected in Butterworth, resolved that they needed to meet because they were elected together in Butterworth. And Petty turned up, no Fuma turned out, Justice Mubagali turned up, Mapula turned out, Mavitella turned up, except for a few. Okay. So we had done that, we had engaged. Now, unity does not, would not necessarily mean that those who may have given up on continue to be members of the PSD should come because that would not necessarily symbolize unity. Unity should not be symbolized okay. by a Mudini's inclusion. If Mudini decides or decides not to be to be no, no longer to be part of the process of the process. Does not necessarily it, mean however, that, okay. we are saying on the fourth of April we reunited the NEC that was elected in Butterworth. Okay. And that NEC further resolved among others 
that the expulsions and the counter expulsions that had taken place within the, uh, the organization, we declared them null and void. Okay. We put them aside. It further resolved that the PAC, in terms of its constitution, as a united NEC, we take it to a Congress on the 4th of July okay. in Bloemfontein. All right. Now, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, I want you to tell us, um, so who's going to be the new representative of the PAC in Parliament? Because you've got a seat in Parliament, which is currently occupied by the... Well, Mr. Former, Pinda. Yeah, yes. Uh, the Congress... Not the NEC. We will talk about that okay. only after the break. This question time, please give us a call. Let's just yeah, if you were at that conference, 89 If you were part of the people who walked out uh, on Saturday night, please give us a call. Tell us why you walked out. But also, if you have been a member of the PAC, call us. We'd love to hear from you. This question time. Humble beginnings, this selfless icon altered the history of the world, freed a country, and united a nation. He taught us humility and forgiveness. To the world, he is Nelson Rolihlahla Mandela, but to us, he is simply Tata Madiba. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. My guest today, Dini Maiba, is the Secretary General of the Pan Africanist Congress of Azania, and we welcome your calls. Ramati, welcome to Question Time. Ramati? Okay, we don't seem to have Ramati any longer. But yeah, please do give us a call. Let's uh, talk about uh, what happened over the weekend or. Um, you know, if you've got a question to the uh, new secretary, uh, please do give us a call. Ramazi, uh, talk to us. Okay, Ramazi seems to have uh, taken other commitments now. So you um, are saying Congress decided who is going to be the new representative of the PIC? Yeah. Who is it? It re decided, it resolved that the president okay. would go back to represent, to represent the party in parliament. Okay. Yes. Now, what is going to happen to old men like um, Motsoku Pegu? He was fired at some point. Yes. By the current president. No. Okay. He was fired by the party. Okay. For refusing to account for funds. Okay. He was not fired by President Mpahlele. He was not fired by myself. He had a case of fraud. Oh, okay. And um, the likes of Clarence Makwetu, are they back in the organization? Uh, I would not say he's back, mm. uh, but these are people that we back in what form? These are veterans. Some of the, some of the veterans mm. are, are not active, yes. like Makwetu, mm -hmm. but we engage them, we involve them. We went to Mrs. Hani's uh, funeral, Mrs. Hani, uh, in the Eastern Cape, who was a member the, of the National Executive Committee of Parliamentary Veterans, okay. in which I, uh, I was secretary before I was elected secretary general of the PAC. We, we meet on those occasions and other occasions when we were reburying the veterans, the Langa Six, we paid courtesy visits. Now, also, the unity should not be measured around individuals only because the PAC will not 
the unity of the PAC is not only between who you know as immediate past members. Okay. The unit of the PAC should extend to, mem to people beyond the structures of the PAC okay, hold the because the PAC, uh, as a party, members of any party are smaller in size than the okay. population. All and right. the PAC's mission and responsibility and challenge is to get support from more South Africans. All right, all the thought. The Ramati, you are back. Ramati. Uh, Ramati. Hello. Yes, go ahead. How are you, sir? We're doing well. Thanks for the call. I'm fine. Uh, first of all, I have to thank the, lead, uh, the branches of the PAC of having a very successful Congress and, and electing the leadership of the PSG, it was long overdue, okay. and thanks a lot. And I would like to thank uh, 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 Comrade Mudini for being elected as the General Secretary of the PSG. It was a mandate of the branches around the country. To elect him? Sorry? It was a mandate of branches to elect him? Thanks a lot, uh, Mafrika Mudini, for being a leadership of the PAC. PAC members are not permanent. PAC members, with the likes of PD Damini and the rest of the staff, they have to rejoin the party and be part of the structure of the PAC at branch level. We, there's no special place for, for general, whether you are a veteran or what, you have to join the PAC and continue to be a member of the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania. Thanks a lot, Mafrika. All right, thank, thank, thank you. Now, um, do you think uh, you would have won the elections had uh, there not been a walkout on Saturday? Uh, I could have won and I could have lost. Mm. Whether people walked out or stayed in <coughs> becomes easy material because even the people who walked out, you would not know who they would have voted for. Mm. Yes. As I'm speaking, uh, well, yesterday I was off, tired, and then... Uh, I had to, I woke up late, late in the evening. But as of today, as I started my work, even people who had walked out of the Congress were calling me to say they now, as individual members of the party, they want me to meet them, to engage them. Okay. They feel that no. Otherwise, if they were angry, they would not have even bothered. And no. I, we, we, we had an open, we, we, I had a, an open discussion with many. <coughs> and my job as Secretary General okay. is that of organizational and administrative competence and unit of the party. Okay. Do you uh, have so access to the office now? No, we, we have an office. We've been operating in an office. Which one? The one which Muroto we, was uh, occupying? No, 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 no. We, the PAC has an office at on the sixth floor, 97 Commissioner Street. It has been operating. And um, that is where we have been doing work to keep the structures intact under uh, uh, very uh, trying conditions. Mm. And uh, those are the structures that went to Congress okay. in Bloemfontein. We organized the Congress from there. And even when an attempt, the interdict on Friday, was served at PAC offices okay. at 12 o'clock for the matter to be had at 2. And imagine uh, all of us were in Bloemfontein. Right. Fortunately, we had some resourceful comrades, including Comrade Upper, who were to follow us. Then we dealt with the matter. Okay. We went to court and won. Okay. Babalo, welcome to Question Time. Babalo. Hello. Yes, go ahead. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? We are well. Yes, I'm doing well. Uh, I just want to ask a, a question to uh, Mr. Mudin Maiba. Uh, Secretary General, uh, and now that you are on, on your three-year term from now till uh, 2018, you are talking about a, a, a unity and other things. And the Congress there, the legitimate Congress, took resolutions. And on those resolutions, a unit was mentioned. But how are you planning uh, uh, to, to, to take PAC back to its uh, basis and principle, principles? 
And what, how, 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 what are you also planning on making sure that a PAC is going back to a center stage of politics where it belongs? Okay. Thanks very much, Bob. Um, unity is one of the priorities. Uh, and when we talk unity, we, it is not only with uh, reference to members or individuals outside the structures or with whom we have differences. Unity even among us who are working together is of paramount. Okay. Because we want to forge a leadership team that will see to it that the PAC is protected, protected by open, honest governance and management. So that is the unit we are talking about. So the people who are at leadership level and members of the PAC, those who are in compliance with the statutes of the PAC, mm. we want that unit to be sustained. Okay. And, and, and then the, 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 the second question, what about the second question? Well, it, it generally was talking about... Uh, uh, what are we <coughs> going to do? From where I'm sitting, we are going to go to, into a boss barat as the newly elected NEC. From my desk, from my office, I'm looking at a number of proposals okay. among, for, to table at the NEC. Among this is a time frame that in six months' time, we should have un achieved complete unity of our structures. Okay, now... As, quickly, as we are we, dealing we're, with we're, those who are outside, if, as, we are, as we are engaging those who are outside the structures, we are out of meeting. Time. Yeah. Um, I want to, to quickly to, to, to tell me here um, there's elections next year. Mm. Uh, are you ready? We want to make the PAC ready. Hence, I'm saying six months' time, mm. we're going to sit and review how much work have we done because we have to go to consolidate the unit of the PA inside. We have got to I'll reach out for pen, and, uh, to pan-Africanists who may not be members of the PAC or, so th or those who have been outside the PAC for a long time, we have got to restore their confidence. Okay. Because we have got a debt to, 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 to settle. We have got a debt to pay. We have got a debt to pay to the founders of this party and the veterans, those who were executed in Mkalam Fen in a liberated zone that was a, an upland liberated zone, mm. those who were, who were executed at Hoshimampuru. Mm. We owe them a big deal. Yeah, but you, what has been happening is actually a disservice. Yes, it has been a disservice. But we also have a right to recommit ourselves okay. to the ideals of the PAC uh -huh. and the founders. And we are saying in this process, uh, as I'm saying, my, 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 what I'm going to table is that we have got to work on six-month basis. Every six months, mm -hmm. we, have a, we have a program and six months, so every six months, we review. Okay, and it, it, what you're trying to do requires a lot of money, and you don't have money. Yes, uh, Mr. Tedu, it requires a lot of money, mm. but money alone it should not be... Right, but uh, in place... And yes, and yes. And otherwise, and otherwise, if money, lack of money equals death, then there would be no poor people in this world. We all have been gone and died. Mm. But poor people are there, and they will increase in numbers. Therefore, money, resources, will come... Once we have stabilized this party, once we have restored the confidence of the public in this party. Mm -hmm. So maybe our conduct, our behavior, actually not maybe, mm -hmm. actually it is a fact. It had contributed a great deal to push away mm -hmm. potential funders or yes. supporters. Yes. The, the PAC, Pan-Africanism, is a great social force. If you look around, you'll find people are, are not even conscious that they are, they, 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 yes. Okay. So the, others are informal organizations. And we are proud that uh, 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 the philosophy has spread, it has caught a fire, and many, the only regret that we want to deal with is that we, as the custodians, the founders of pan and the drivers of Pan-Africanism in this country, have done something very bad that okay. put the party back. Thank you very much, Mr. Maiba. And we wish you all the best, and indeed, for the sake of Mazunia and Sobukwe, we hope that you will revive this party. That's a debt we want to pay. Thank you. That was Question Time for today. A big thank you to my guests and you for watching the show. Our email address, questiontime at sabc.co.za. Our Twitter handle at questiontime24. From me and the crew, have yourself a wonderful time. Goodbye.